why does the army need to grow saints? Because it's not naturally natural to be saints. So we need to be gardeners and help each other to grow in holiness. The army wants to be involved in growing saints because the rule of God is one of those things which is a more or less thing in our lives. And so the extent to which God rules in our hearts can be increased as we are engaged in the process of becoming more and more of a disciple. We need to grow saints because just as a little child enters this world, uh, there are things they need to learn uh, through experience and maturity to discover who they are becoming. And I believe that's true for Christians. In growing saints, uh, we are becoming who God has designed us to be. And that's part of our self-discovery. There's that wonderful description in scripture that uh, as a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ, we're described as saints. It's not a static point. It's not something we can ever say, I've been there, I've done that. So we need to grow. We need to grow saints. The army needs to grow saints because it's not enough to just believe in Christ. I mean, that's wonderful in itself, but really you benefit when you get close to Christ, when you develop a holy relationship with him. It's not only for Christ's sake, it's not only for the world's sake, it's for your own sake. Christians need to guard against thinking that once they've accepted Jesus as savior, further progress isn't necessary. It is. We have to continue to grow spiritually if we're to have the inner resources to help others find Christ too. In any case, it will be utterly selfish not to share the good news. God always has more to teach us about himself and about ourselves. Various circumstances, some unwelcome, come into our lives that raise questions. They're not all easily answered and ought to be faced with honesty. To avoid hard questions or fail to measure them against the teachings of Jesus means we will not grow as Christians. The Apostle Paul and other New Testament writers often encouraged early day Christians to grow up in Christ. The ability to forgive, the wisdom not to retaliate, and a mature understanding of the shortcomings of others, these and other virtues develop best with the grace that comes only from God himself. Peter calls it growing in grace. In the Call to Cultivate Faith chapter of Call to Be God's People, we read, The Salvation Army cannot exist without people who are cultivating their faith. Faith is not static. It must develop to stay alive. It continues, There are times when the unfairness of life seems to attack us, to hold us in its grip, or to challenge the very foundations on which our lives have been built. It is then we discover the strength of our faith, or the lack of it. It is also the time when our faith can develop most rapidly and most surely. Our purpose then is not only to grow spiritually ourselves, but also to help others develop. If the quest for spiritual maturity is neglected, the day will eventually arrive when our spiritual poverty, individually and as a fellowship, catches up with us. There's no substitute for sharing everything with God. Hopes, fears, heart, mind and emotions. There's no shortcut to growing in Christ. True growth comes through genuine relationship, and this will naturally involve us in sharing the burden of a sinful world with Jesus. Such sharing deepens our understanding of the cost of our redemption and reveals the sacrificial implications of discipleship. We grow in grace, become increasingly identified with him and his purposes, and be better equipped to help others enjoy the depths of that grace too. Thank you.